Hey, hey, Vinyl Community, Jeff here again with what I did over the weekend. So, uh, the wife and I went over to a new record store, brand new record store. Um, I discovered this record store weeks ago online on Facebook. Somehow it ran across my feed. New record store in a town that's, nah, 30 minutes away. It's on the other side of a tunnel. You got to go through a tunnel. If you live in the Hampton Roads area, you're familiar with the, the, the basically the, uh, idea that you pretty much can't go anywhere without going across either a very big bridge or a very or a tunnel underwater or something um, if you want to leave the general area I live in Hampton Roads in Virginia Beach and to get to the peninsula or to the eastern shore there's tunnels bridges things like that so um, I don't go to the other side of the tunnel very often. That's actually where I was born and raised, but don't go there that often. I have gigs over there with the band, and it's like, oh, i got to go to the tunnel. Traffic can be a pain in the butt. They're doing a lot of road work. Anyway, but this is over there. We're like, okay, this is over in my old stomping grounds uh, growing up as a kid. Brand new record store. Saw it online. Opening soon. Then I kind of forgot about it, and then all of a sudden I see um, a Facebook post where it had opened like two weeks ago. And they had a grand opening and i missed it i'm like oh i forgot about that that they were doing that um but anyway so we went ahead and said well let's make plans to go over there we'll check it out on saturday so we went over there checked out a brand new place it's called bohemian amigos record store record shop it's in a little strip mall and uh i can't i'm going to the record store anyway they gave me some swag and pins and stuff like that so neat little store uh they had quite a good selection, decent stuff, and the prices were very well, very good compared to some of the stuff I see nowadays. And so we went in, and you know, it's it, nice, nice setup and everything. And the um, I, I immediately headed for the guy. Kind of met us. There was, there was a handful of people there already in the store. It only opened like a half an hour before we got there. And the guy met us and kind of, you know, he, hey, how you doing? And you know, this is where these are, and this is how this are. Kind of gave us a setup. So um, I initially went right for the bin of new used records so you know he's got these are the latest ones that came in in the used bin these are the latest ones that came in in the new and then this whole wall over here was basically uh used and then this section over here was mostly new kind of small but still you know a, a reasonably large selection so i went right over into the new used records and i found something i'm like oh i gotta grab that picked up the first triumph album so I've never seen this album. I knew about it online, never seen it in the wild, never ran across it. You run across Triumph all the time, but I've never seen this. And so I, I grabbed it and, you know, I'm like, okay, yeah, it was a good price. And it was in great condition, 1976. When I got home and logged it in Discogs, comes to find out, I guess I didn't really realize this. It's never been released on vinyl in the U.S., only in Canada back in the, in the 70s. Never been reissued on vinyl. You know, I don't think it's ever been reissued on a period. I, maybe it was in Canada. I don't I, if I recall one of them might have been, but this album is never available on vinyl outside of Canada. So I'm like, well, no wonder I don't really run across it that often. So it was great to find one in, in great condition. Uh, and then I'm like, well, the second album, Rock and Roll Machine, same thing. 1977, never been released outside of Canada. But then I did see in 2022, some small company in New York, a merchandising company, did reissue it worldwide on vinyl. But the chances of finding a copy of that are about as rare as finding a copy of the actual vinyl from Canada. I mean, they're both going to be, you know, harder to find just because they're not going to be as widely spread in, in, in the area of the U.S. So, but that's what I'm looking for. I do have the Rock and Roll Machine, which is a combination, the U.S. release, which is a combination of the first and second albums. But I want to get the actual second album at some point. But I was thrilled to get this. Like I said, it was in great condition. Um, so I thought, yeah, and so I grabbed that. So that I, I immediately knew, well, you know, they got something that's a little different. Um, and they had some other things that I, I kind of picked up, but I'm like, eh, you know, whole fillers I could live without. So I, wanted, I, want, I didn't want to get too crazy until I started going through the whole sections. Started going through the other selections, and then I found this. I found the Marillion live album, uh, Real to Real, UK Press, uh, $12. You can see right there, uh, UK Press. And I, you know, Marillion's one of those bands that everybody talks about. I've heard a lot of their stuff, but have never, never find their stuff on vinyl in the wild. Haven't bought any of it. Uh, I ran across one of their albums years ago and did not get it. And then 
regretted that and went back to get it and it was gone. So you rarely, I rarely see their stuff out in the wild. So when I saw this, I thought, okay, great. I'm going to grab this. This is a OG copy of their 84 live album. And then I flipped and I continued and I got Fugazi. So this is actually 1984 also, but this is a 2012 reissue. Um, and so it's, you know, fairly new and it is like in like minty fresh condition. Uh, and so, yeah, and I'm thinking, okay, well, that's great. I'm going to grab that. I got two Merlions. Now, the big draw, I mean, as far as, you know, I've heard of Merlion back in the day. I, I don't think I paid it much attention in the 80s. You know, it's one of those bands that was kind of in that thinly veiled prog rock era. You got the bands that, I don't know, back in those days, we didn't get into them as much. Now I'm getting into it a little bit more only because of the connection with you know, I've been getting into a lot of this stuff when you get into the, the progier side of metal or progier side of things, you know, with Dream Theater and then later into Spock Spirit and then anything that Neil Morse touches. And then Neil Morse and Mike Portner are always talking about General Giant. So I started buying General Giant. So I started getting back into the early stuff from the 70s and 80s. And then, of course, uh, Neil Morse then put together Transatlantic, which has... At the time it was formed, it was the drummer for Dream Theater, the keyboard player, singer from Spock's Beard, the guitar player from, and singer from the Flower Kings, and the bass player from Marillion. He's still in the band, so and he's still, I, I assume he's still the bass player. He's a bass player on here. Pete uh, is still the bass player um, in Transatlantic. And anyway, so that's where he came from. So then it brought back the Marillion connection again over the years, but it's never had really gotten any of the, any of their stuff so i was glad to finally get this now i did get some other things but i'm going to save that for another video because i can break this up into smaller things these were to me the big score of the day these were the wow factor and then some of the other things i got were whole fillers that i'm like were great prices some of the things i'm going to show are um what my wife picked up which some of it turned out to be a surprise so anyway that's it for this one though these are the highlights of this new place that i'm hoping that we'll be able to go back to periodically there's not a whole lot of record stores on the other side of the water uh, we definitely have more on this side so this is one to add to that and yeah there was another one over there that closed down a couple years ago probably during the whole you know pandemic thing but uh i don't even know of really much over there so it's glad to see that there's a store popping up and uh, and they were busy they were people were coming and going the whole time people sitting around talking to him uh, so anyway, I want to learn more about the guy himself. I hear him talking to other people, and apparently he's been in the music business. He's been in a touring band. He's He's been on the road for decades of his life, and you know now it looked like he's probably around my age. He's probably in his, you know, 50s, late 50s, and has got a, you know, a, a record store and uh, lo loves all that stuff. So great stuff. He seems to know his stuff, and I'm uh, looking forward to seeing more. Anyway, that's it for this one. Thanks a lot for watching. Rock on and rock hard.